have a question. You said that you had to speed up your workload, which is completely and utterly true. Yep. And um, obviously that's because your boss told you you had to. But can you tell the students what it was that made it so that you could achieve it that much faster? Um, things like, especially, I mean, a lot of stuff that we do, is, it's not just a single job as well. I mean, I, I, I sort of, uh, like we have a team of developers to do all the web-based stuff, and I sort of, if you look at the sort of cycle that we work at, they, they sort of do stuff over weeks and months, and I do stuff over like a couple of hours or a day, and then pass it on to them, so my workload's a lot quicker in that sense. Um, but still at the same time, we get projects where you're not just designing one little thing, you're designing quite a few things. So say if it's a brochure, do you know what I mean? You've got like lots of covers, you've got all the, the in, uh, in, inside page layouts, you've got the content. And it's, it's pretty much sort of sitting there, and I think it's a good start off and plan out stuff on paper, get, get like, like pencil paper, or if you design something sort of more visual, sketch it out first, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot faster to do that, see what's working. But then also sort of plan your time out, you know, if you've got to have something done um, by, you know, five o'clock on Friday afternoon, and make sure you, you, you're at a stage before that that you know you're going to hit that. But the thing is as well, you'll not just be working on one thing, you'll get different projects, so again, like sort of time management plan, which I used to be terrible at, is, is very sort of very, very, very important, very key to it. So looking at things that will have to be done, prioritising those things, and then sort of getting them done and thinking, all right, well that needs to be done by then. Let's get it done for them, and then I can get it in front of them, and, you know, sort of uh, find out if the client likes that or not. If they're happy with it. Remember a project I did back at college, um, one of the lectures, so I really didn't get on with, and I got the date wrong for um, for one of the jobs, and I turned it in like a week early. He sat down, very surprised, but well, no, I'm in the market now anyway. He sat down and, and marked it, and I got like a semi-decent thing. He said, oh, it's quite nice, that bit's all right, but I don't really get that, but I didn't really sort of grasp it briefly. fully. So you went, you've got a week now, so I went away, and redid it and came back, and got a top mark for it, which usually I wouldn't have done. And every sort of project after that, I started doing everything like a week earlier, and uh, my grades sort of went up sort of a lot higher because of that. Simply, it was by accident, but it was a sort of good lesson to go through. So I think you just put plan stuff out, um, make sure, you understand the brief as best as possible as well, so you're not kind of going off in a, in a, in a wrong direction and sort of get that, get your sort of work as you go through it, get that in front of people and say, right, is this the right direction, is this working? So just, just try and sort of knock stuff out early because then you've always got time to go back and tweak it and change it, make sure it's actually working or whatever you sort of need to do. So I hope that answers that question. Hello. How do you pitch your work? Like what tips and advice do you have? Um, pitching's a absolute minefield in the sense that a lot of the stuff, a lot of, most of the jobs that we get is stuff that um, once we've got in front of a client, we've actually sat down and talked to them, then you've got kind of a relationship built up there and you tend to get a sort of a lot of work from that. A lot of our stuff is sort of reciprocal work that you get back from clients. Um, but we do, I mean we did a pitch last week, we're still waiting to find out about that one, where you sort of be coming in there and um, sort of cold as it were, um, you go against other companies and, and whatnot. And in that case, again, same as what I was saying before, make sure you understand the brief, make sure you, you You've got someone there you can talk to about, or you know, if you're actually going against the people, it's like you know, what's it they want. Getting down face to face is quite a, a sort of important thing, even from a design perspective. Um, I mean, we have account managers to go out and talk to clients, but the, the more times I can get in front of a client, the better, because I can get a feel for what they're what they're after. If you can get examples of the sort of stuff they like as well, it's very useful because obviously, style wise, you, you, you think, ah, oh, right, they like something like that, I can go into some of the sort of thing. Um, and then it's kind of it's kind of about. Um, Judging it yourself as well, because there's a few times when I go in with like a single idea, it's really strong, and say this is what we think we should do. But I explained one with the uh, speech mark was kind of one of those ideas where it's like I, I sort of believed in that one, thought like, that's a really strong idea. I'm just going to show them that one and develop that one fully. But sometimes you kind of have to be careful and maybe put two or three ideas or have a few in your kind of back pocket, as it were, so that you go down and you sit down with a concept and go, this is what I've come up with. And but if they don't like that, you've got well, these are some alternatives. On the same side, don't undersell that and go, well, you know, I've got this one, but I'm not quite sure if I like it enough. I'm going to say, this is, what, this, is, this is what I've done, this is why, and have a sort of good, strong reason for why I've actually done that. Because, you know, there's, it doesn't have to be the, the, the best design in the world, you know, there's no right or wrong answer with design, it's a very grey area, there's, like, there's a lot of different answers you can do to that. As long as, um, as long as you've got a bit of conviction behind you as well, then usually the client doesn't know anything about it, so as long as you've got some conviction about what you've done, then usually you can, sort of, you know, you can sell that to them. Um, does that help? <laughs> that a good answer. Anyone else? Yes. Yeah. Um, how do people start out in like your company like Fusebox? In Fusebox, um, I I was like I got mine through I got in through somebody actually new actually once I got in the door my portfolio kind of did the speaking. Um, in a couple of years actually most of you guys are probably more uh, 
have better education on paper than I do, because I never did a degree, actually. Um, I was going to, but I was lucky enough to, to get offered a position at a design company and sort of sat and worked there and kind of worked my way up. Otherwise, I probably would have done that degree, I think. Um, but a lot of the time, it's like things like uh, work experience. The first the, the company I got to work for, I actually met the guy who owned that company doing work experience somewhere else, just getting your foot in the door. Um, getting that experience as well is super valuable because that's when you really sort of start to learn a lot more stuff. I'm not putting down any lectures or anything here, but do you know what I mean? Once you get into the industry and you see how a company actually works, it's very, very different with the college. So, yeah, I think, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, creative CVs is, is useful as well, but like, especially when you, you're sort of going through all your different, uh, different education sort of process, make sure you're sort of like applying for places for work experiences. I had a guy that emailed me today saying, yeah, I'll come in and work whenever you want me to for nothing. Do you know what I mean? Just like give me opportunity and it's like, right, well, when I've got some time, I'll get them in. Do you know what I mean? So, um, you know, anyone here wants to sort of, uh, you know, send through the details to me, and, you know, it's not a problem. Do you know what I mean? We'll see if we can fit you in, even if it's for just a couple of weeks or whatever, or a couple of days. You know, it's, it's all experience, it all helps you. And then just, uh, just try and offer your services to different places um, and just try and get in there. It's the best thing I can say, really. Um, yeah.